Welcome to Packet Smart's Quick Reviews. In this session, we're going to just basically provide an overview of the entire Packet Smart GUI, just basic functionality, navigational capabilities. Uh, I want to start first on the left hand side here where the SMEs of the subject, uh, excuse me, system management elements are. If you double click on those, you'll actually pull down specific. Uh, Micro appliances, the PI 100s, right underneath there. You want to make sure that when you're looking at activities on the device, that they are green check marked and connected to Packet Smart. That's a good indication of that. Another good indication of that is to go ahead and click on one of these here and go to the Traffic Flow tab and verify that the device is actually sniffing traffic. This is usually a pretty good indication that the device is connected. If you go ahead and highlight the device, uh, you'll actually get an IP address along with the port configuration, the license activity that's there, and the actual firmware load. Good to know that information uh, when you're testing stuff, especially when uh, product support bulletin are sent out for upgrades. Uh, we have the call matrix, which is basically where you want to view calls. Uh, if you want to go in and actually take those calls, you can actually go up here, click on the device, show calls, and list all the calls. If you want to be able to sort the completed calls, you can just click this box. You have the ability of also filtering on calls if you choose to and actually look uh, specifically listed to say wireless abbreviated here and only see that particular call. You can look at the signaling of that call. You can actually click on any one of the ladder trees, SIP ladder trees and get SIP dump information on that. Uh, it's also good to note that you can get, look at all the call stream matrix, the packets per second. Um, be able to see the stream so you can see the red and the blue. It's a really good call. Uh, go through the jitter. Also look at the lost packets, packets out of sequence, and the MOS score for the call. Um, also you have the ability of um, looking at all the signaling records for all these calls by going into this tab. This allows you to see all the signaling records. You can filter on anything within the SIP header. So if I wanted just to see the invite function, I could just see the invites for the entire day of all the devices. And I can I can filter up to three of them there. If I just wanted to look at specific phone numbers, I could look at just the 800 numbers that had come in and look at all the invites for the 800 numbers that were there. So a lot of flexibility in the signaling records tab. Um, the traffic flow is a good a good indication of the device actually seeing traffic. But more importantly, we break it down into three different categories. The top chart is the kilobits per second, the bandwidth. Here we give you a reference point, a legend that tells you what type of traffic we're detecting. These uh, these particular charts are auto auto scaling. So obviously, if you have a lot of uh, data, it'll auto scale up automatically. Uh, this one right here is the packets per second. This is the packet handling that's happening, and then down below is our top flows, which is where you're able to actually look at the top 10 applications. We do not show all the flows. We show the first, excuse me, the top 10 flows. That are active on the device at that time and you can actually go in and expand this area and click on an area and actually look at the flows that are happening there see the source IP the port usage the destination the protocol type and the amount of bandwidth that's being consumed in that particular area excellent place to do troubleshooting you can also go in and just filter let's just say I want to look at the SIP signaling filtering and there it is right there you so you have that ability there you also have the ability of um, going in and filtering uh, specifically off an IP address if you want to do that too. So you can go in and say 192, 168, 1115 and apply that and only see the activity specific to that IP. Excellent tool for uh, helping out for troubleshooting and identifying things on your network. Packet capture, very simply you can go through and capture up to one meg of data. You have the ability of doing headers or full ethernet you can sort by destination or source. You can also filter by protocol type. Very handy to use for troubleshooting. The network evaluation tab is how we set up uh, assessments. We can do it with another micro appliance as a target, or we can select a media sync in a different city or a carrier here that you might want to see. Set up the step two, which is the call parameters of that assessment. Make sure that you've set your QoS settings correctly. Start the calls, and after you start the calls, go ahead and hit a trace route. Anytime you do anything remotely to the device, always go up to the control tab and verify if there's any commands in the control tab that have actually been activated by the device so you can make sure your commands are being run correctly. And of course, the last tab is the report tab. If you want to be able to run reports, you uh, slide down here 
and go to the submit new request and you have the ability of running a network behavior analysis which is a LAN, a LAN snapshot of what's happening on the local area network. You have the two assessment tests which are uh, reports which are driven by test calls, the verification report when you have a target outside that you're testing directly off of phones. You have the VoIP SLA for live VoIP calls not test calls and then you have the network quality report which looks just similar to the VoIP SLA report but more importantly this report itself actually provides you the ability to look at the wide area performance on live calls allows you to scroll through set different latencies if you choose to you also can change the port uh, bandwidth and find out if anything has been exceeded from the A port or the B port and you also can run this up to 30 days just like the VoIP SLA very cool reports uh, for live traffic same with this report on the NBA, you want to do that for live data traffic, whereas these reports are test calls, and this is a test call out to, it's actually a live call, but it's a test call to an outside target. And that's pretty much the, uh, the GUI in its totality. Um, you do have the ability up here on the date field, just make sure that when you're working with the device that you're on the right date, because you can go back a day if you want to, or if you want, you can go back a full month um, and go ahead and select that date and look at the traffic specifically on that date and in this case it would be on this device I believe is where we had traffic on when we were doing the testing so you have the ability of actually doing that and look at the traffic and see what's on there um, pretty much that's it that's the uh, capabilities that you have the ability to sort through this and look at the dates and there are all the tabs thank you